Thanks for checking out this week in Osara. We're looking at footage at the end of the rainy season of 2023. Most of the rainy season was beautiful. You'd pull up to main area Guiones and it looked like this. Clear water, lots of small clean surf with empty lineups and friends on the beach ready to play fetch. And it was pretty fantastic. A lot of the days felt like January, February type deals and fun surf like this. And I started thinking about well, bigger and better surf from what it was like this past high season. Here's a scene from February, and I was getting a little greedy. I forgot it was October, and then the rains came. <laughs> so it started looking like this, and whenever it looks like that, I think of Dr. Edgeworth over on the podcast. He sends me pictures, and he gets mad because he doesn't want people to get sick. And at the WCA, that's why they put out the reports, and there's the locations. This one's interesting because Palata passes... And that's nice. Baker's Beach passes too. The curveball on this report is it's Palmera. Look at that. That's uh that's gonna surface back up. A lot of my Tico friends said that brown stuff's been like that way before development. Irregardless, uh, we still go surf, and I know I do, uh, but I don't surf this well. Look at Delilah. Look at that angle she just took across that wave. It didn't break. She stole a 10 out of nothing. This went around someone, and that wave dissolved right there, and she banked back into it. And I think she does that again. Yeah, look at that. She just set a line. She's going to get another nose, nose right. Dad gun. She must have a good surf coach or something. Um, all kidding aside, shout out to both of them. I hope she does really well in the contest this year. I think she's going to support the local surfers who are out there making a go of it. I definitely can't do a top turn like that in that type of wave. Ah, uh, and Esteban. Yeah, what a great surfer. Watch this. He'll set up something out of nothing and make it look good. Yeah, I wouldn't have to ride a longboard so much if I was like these guys. But I'm not. I wouldn't even know what to do on that board. It's too bumpy to really nose ride. These guys are sure making it look fun. Nice top turn. Jeez, that wave was nothing. He really made it look fun. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the rainy season ending in this high season. I really want to get back to it. Here's a better rainy season day. Let's take a look at Medio Kilo. Medio Kilo doing what he does. Real good example of how Guiones is pretty soft on the top. That's why this wave is so good for beginners and intermediates. Our Medio Kilos who can do that on this. Um, for us big guys, it's a lot harder to gather. Shortboard turns out of that way, but he can do it. Those waves were from EQ. Legend has moved on in Richard Jordan. From Tika Massage is how most people will probably remember him. I'm going to remember him as the surf till you die guy because he actually did it. And also, big rights in Guiones. Uh, he basically did it for 20 years. All the jobs and people he spun off from Tika Massage and like helping Paige. And shout out to John for that photo. I'm going to remember that one. Here's my favorite photo of them with Travis and May and Maggie, their legendary dog. Rest in peace, Richard. Uh, legends never die. That street right behind Richard in that photo is now this one. So congratulations and thank yous to everyone involved at Kai Modelo. Over on the podcast, you've seen a lot of people come in and talk about building regulations and stuff. Uh, now we have attorneys back on there. That's going to heat up. People are confused about what's going on. I think there's a celebration happening that might be initially a little early. We don't understand what those regulations mean. Get out and support Jessica Sheffield. She's an amazing human being. The delicious Cal Bolgata, if I said that right, support that. They're really freaking cool. Today's adventure, we're going to go over to Palata and look at the walkway between Palata to Guiones. A lot of people aren't familiar with it. Many people are familiar with that view. That's the parking lot from La Luna. But let's head down to the beach. So that's where we're parked. Here's La Luna on a early October evening. And we're going to head over to that pathway just a little bit closer to the Nosara Hotel. So you walk down there and you pop out pretty much in front of the blowhole area. And let's take a look down to the south. That's a beautiful walk if you want to get away from the crowds and just see something fantastic. But today we're going to walk down this pathway. That was the Nosara Hotel. That's the path we're going to go through. And again, if you ever get a chance, head down there. It really puts a different 
view on things in the peacefulness of Costa Rica compared to just Guione's activity. That's over down towards the Boca, and that's Northern Palada, La Garda Lodge Hill, and Via Mango. That's back on the market. There's Olga's, and those are our hotel. So let's head to the pathway. Really, really pretty back there. If you're in town in November, you'll actually still have some greenery through December before the seasons change and the leaves fall and adjust. Right now it's beautiful though. Well, actually it's been raining a ton right now, but come in November, it'll be real nice again. All right, so there's where it pops out at Guiones. And here's what very far north Guiones looks like. Interestingly enough, that's down towards the south. The sandbar has been working out there. Every couple seasons, sand moves around a bunch. North North Guiones actually gets some surf. Most people don't know about it. And it's a nice getaway though, if you want to get away from the crowds. The turtles have been coming, some arabatas. And up in Oceanal, a new grocery store location. Cool to see them expand, good luck to them. And Il Basilico has an operation up there. Hit them up in Osti if you get a chance. Let's take a drive back the back way. Most people who've been that path will know that puddle. Road's a lot, lot better than it used to be. Again, it's been raining real hard just recently, but it'll it'll clear back out. A lot of people go back there actually to hang out, believe it or not, or rinse off their cars. Now we're heading to the L section real quick. Lots of road construction this season. Here's what school pickup in downtown Osara looks like in late afternoon. And let's head back to Guiones. That dog's pretty cool. Always fun to play with. I think that's Chrissy's dog. There's Amy taking off on a beautiful late rainy season day. This was right before the big rains came. There's Kaya. Notice how empty the lineup is. It's just basically my family and some friends out there. I'm trying to learn how to surf Goofy Foot. That's one of my missions. I know it's raining now, but it'll stop soon. Look forward to seeing everybody and get back in town this high season and stay safe out there. Keep an eye on the WCA reports too. Shout out to everyone who's doing good in the community. Keep an eye on the podcast. Lots of content coming. My name's Rich and thanks for checking out this week in Osara. We'll see you this high season. Mm -hmm.